This subject matter in your question of time and awareness is how you would call a tricky matter for you in that your language and your understanding of time as linear and successive in its moments from the incarnate state have limitations, limitations that we are not subject to and that you are also not subject to in your energetic or higher perspective self, which is that mm, overseer, shall we say, of the incarnate mm, sojourn that you are on in any particular moment. And you have many of these incarnate experiences to draw from. Hmm. And so, mm, you were fully present in a moment. You were simply not fully present with mm, doing the dishes in your mental state at that time, for you had chosen to be fully present in this moment that you would call a past moment. It is simply that your consciousness was not on that timeline. Time is not a linear constant, as we have said to you. It is available all moments at all times, future, present, and past. You are able to, as we have described in other transmissions, literally pluck any moment from any mm, part of your experience, whether that be past or future. For all is now. There is only this moment. And all the moments that you have, so to speak, experienced, are experiencing or will experience, so to speak, from your linear concept, are happening in this present moment for yourself and therefore available to you. We understand that this stretches your belief systems around time in many ways, and it can create some mind-boggling and some discomfort in you as you begin to mm, experience time differently, which you are now in your dimensional shifting, and you begin to challenge your own belief systems around this time. With this said... Mm, you, as beings, do not need mm, primarily to focus on any other moment but your present moment in the greater service to yourselves and the greater service of creating your lives. However, you have not trained yourself in this way and being subject to linear time in many incarnations, you have developed belief systems that, shall we say, challenge this notion. Therefore, if it is your choice then to be as present as possible in the incarnate moment that you are having as you are having it, hmm, without judgment, this will take some practice. And we will also point out to you that you may find that a past moment or focusing on a future moment may bring the greatest fulfillment, may be in your highest good for that moment, and to your higher self, there is no past or future in it. It is simply the moment you are focusing on, whether it has happened or not. It is a moment of experience. 
And there are several timelines available in that moment of experience, even in the past. Though this is somewhat counterintuitive to your incarnate understanding. And as such, this subject can be tricky to negotiate, especially with the mind. If you are looking for perhaps a visual representation, which again has its limitations, but begins to open you to understanding time beyond a linear sense, you can think of time as existing around you in a circle, and you are the center hub of this circle, and around you are all the moments of time, past, present, and future, and you can literally steer yourself around that circle and focus on any one of these moments at any given time. This concept of being lost in time, hmm is a construct for you that is mm, something that you play with from the incarnate state of being. You cannot and are not and do not get lost from your higher perspective self. You are never especially lost in relation to time, for time is a construct that you have created for yourselves in order to experiment with different experiences in different ways. As the higher perspective beings you are, you know yourselves as eternal. There is no time to get lost in. However, from the incarnate state, creating the sense of being lost in anything, your emotions, your time, your experiences, your relationships, hmm, creates then the strong desire to find yourselves again, to find your way back to yourselves and your truth. And this is an exciting journey for you, and one of the greater reasons why you have chosen these sojourns. And so, we will not discourage you, from taking these journeys when they are in your best and highest interest and in your highest excitement to do so. However, it is not necessary in the unfoldment of your life, in the fulfillment of your living, for you to necessarily start from this lost place. You may start from any point in time and from any emotion that you choose. And so you can allow your life to unfold in the present if you practice your awareness of doing so. We would suggest this kindness toward self, however, when practicing this, for you are not well trained in this as such, and you will be distracted by thoughts, by ideas, some of these ideas are in your highest good and will spur greater creativity. And then you are fully present in another moment, even if it is not the moment that you are feeling yourself linearly incarnated into at that moment. From the higher self perspective, it does not matter to you.